Hey everybody, today we're going to look at how to create a character for Shadow of the Demon Lord in Foundry Tabletop. There's been a lot of questions and misunderstandings, confusion on how to do this because it is a little complicated and there's some hidden things you kind of have to know beforehand. So I'm going to show you to get you up and running very quickly. So the first thing to notice is that Foundry splits everything into two categories, either actors or items. Actors are things that have character sheets such as PCs and NPCs, and items are anything that goes on a character sheet. So that's actual items like equipment and weapons, spells, ancestries, paths, everything else is going to be an item. So we're going to start with creating an actor or a character. It's going to be a goblin. We'll just name him Gabo for now. Okay, and we'll just give him a picture. There we go, Gabo our goblin. So now um, everything just defaults to 10. So, and you notice we can't really like go and click anything. Um, we can do stuff here, but it doesn't really do anything. And if you click that, it just adds a new ancestry. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to right click to delete that. Um, this text stuff, you can just fill out like normal, but anything um, like this, you can fill out, but we don't want to because this won't populate our talents and our characteristics and attributes and everything like that that we want. So I'm going to show you how to make all of this so that it'll auto populate and fill in all of this for you. So this is our character sheet and we're going to close this for now. So first thing you need once you have your character sheet made is you're going to need to make your ancestry. So we're going to follow the same steps just like character creation. We're going to go to the items. I've pre-made some stuff um, to just get speed this up a little bit and get things out of the way so you can see i made a goblin ancestry already i filled out the starting attributes and the characteristics it is common tongue and elvish and you can see traits here you can't uh fill this in because this is where you're going to drop more stuff so it's going to be an item within an item kind of thing so i'll show you how to do that and i did the level four you get four health and you get a spell or a talent so here I've dropped one in here. I'm going to get rid of that for right now to show you. So um, for here, for your ancestry traits, they're going to be uh, listed as talents. There's no differentiation between traits and talents. Although in the game, traits are for ancestries and talents come from your paths, but they're treated the exact same in here. And I've actually hacked this to change it to traits just because I'm a stickler for that. But we're going to open our talents here and Goblins get a few of them. Um, oh, sorry, I create them in traits because they're actually traits. So goblins get immune, iron vulnerability, shadow sight, and sneaky. And then at level four, they get uh, spring away, which this should actually be a trait. So we're gonna move that down um, there. Oh, put that in there, there we go. All right, so now we have, um, for description, I just copied and pasted from my copy of the uh, PDF. And there we go. We have our ancestry all done. So we can go back to our uh, actor, open up the character sheet. We're going to take our ancestry and we're going to drop it on the character sheet. Now you can see our ancestry is goblin. It's filled out our attributes, characteristics right here. So we have our minus two strength, minus one will, plus one perception. And we have our damage calculated. Um, corruption should not be that high, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's a bug with that, I think. So we'll check that out later. But anyway, everything's filled out for you. So next, we need to do our path. All right, now we're going to do step two. After our ancestry, we're going to do our path. So we're going to, uh, you can create a new one. I've already pre-made this one. So we have our rogue. We know it's a novice path. It's level one. Our attribute styles, you choose two to put one point into each. So we're going to put one in all of these. And then when we level up, you'll get to check two of them. We also get three health. We get some languages and professions. We don't get any equipment or magic. We get two talents. Oh, I'll just do the same thing. So I put little rogue icons on here so I know. So we're going to drop these over here. And there's our two level one talents. Moving on to level two. Um, we don't get any attributes because you only get that when you get a new path. You get three health and going to skip down here. Our talents again, um, we'll just leave these here. We get exploit opportunity and a roguery talent. So this is unique in that a roguery talent is a talent that lets you select other talents of a subcategory. So 
subcategories where you get many talents like roguery talents or fighter talents you're going to put down here and the talents choose one so you'll have all of your rogue ta roguery talents listed here i only made two just to show you but you'll fill them all out here and then when you level up you'll get to choose one of them so now the part that confuses a lot of people because it's kind of hidden is once you have filled out your path and this is completely done we're going to go to sheet and you have to change it from path setup to path player view so this takes it out of the editing mode and allows you to actually use it on your character sheet and you can see the format changes oh, and you can't edit anything you can't like click these or whatever anymore so this looks all different so now we can go to our gabo and now we can drop the rogue um but we didn't level up yet, so now we can level up to 1. You see our health just went from 8 to 11. Uh, it increased. And so now you see nothing's filled out yet. So what we have to do is when we level up, we have to manually click the path. And this will bring up your path. And now you choose the ones you want. So I'm going to choose Agility. Uh, let's do Agility and Will so we get rid of that minus one. Here it shows you the health already calculated and the talents. So here there's a little note. Click on items to transfer. So we have to click this and it'll have a pop-up. And yes, we want to transfer it to our actor sheet. So now if we close and we go to our talents, here you can see that they are populated. And that's basically how it works. You can see uses here. If it's a use once time per rest, um, when you're doing the creation of it, you'll see these different fields. And generally, you just have to read the text or the mechanics and fill everything out. So it's not too difficult. And you'll see here, um, you can group them by categories. So when you create a thing right here, a talent group name, this allows them to group up much nicer. Because if you don't put anything here, each one will be on a separate line. So if you want to just sort of save some space, it's much better to group these. And it's just easier to know where your talents are coming from. If it's from a path or from maybe a magic item or something else, um, you can know easily. So um, let's do one other quick thing. Let's just go level two because we made two levels here. So level two, and we're going to do our rogue again. And you see here, we got health plus three, um, talents, we're going to do exploit opportunity, and we're going to do a roguery talent, and we're going to check one. So we're going to do, let's do skirmish. Okay. And now we'll go back to our talents. And here you can see um, these two filled out. I didn't do little icons for them, but that's okay. And then here you can see this one is not grouped. See how it's like on its own and there's this space around here because I didn't put a group name for this one, but these are all grouped together. Um, so we can edit this real quick. Talent group name. Skirmish is a roguery talent. So now you can see it's its own uh, thing alphabetically. So it dropped down here to roguery talent. So as we level up and we get more roguery talents, they will all go together and it just makes it a little bit nicer. All right, um, let's do one last thing. Um, I have a weapon I made and weapons are actually separate. They go in combat instead of inventory. You can drop it anywhere, but it'll automatically go here. So we can draw, I'll just show you. We can draw here and you see it doesn't show up in our inventory, but if you go to combat, we now have a dagger and I already filled out the damage and all the information. So that's it, everybody. That's how you make uh, a character sheet. It's not too complicated, but there are a little things that are confusing the first time. So I hope this video helps. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you.